Hey guys, it's Kraus and welcome back everybody to Train Mechanic Simulator 2017. This game is quite addictive and I kind of want to just play through all the missions or the objectives and stuff. And a lot of you guys seem to enjoy it as well. So hey, let's get to it. Next mission, mission number five. We're actually number five, six and seven. So now we have the possibility to choose stuff. All right, income is thousand, thousand and five hundred. Alright, so let's see here. Number 5. The locomotive was damaged during the transportation of goods. The rear track is damaged and requires urgent repair. The locomotive drove under something laying on the tracks. The front track of blah blah blah, blah is required servicing. Alright. And number 7. The locomotive stopped on the tracks and cannot move. Well, last mission was we, we drove out, right? Or we took the train out for a spin. So maybe we could just do number 5 in order. There she comes. And, uh, oh man, that's a lot of stuff. So where was the damage? Was it back? Let me see here. Remember, blah, 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 blah. Repair the truck. Truck, truck, truck. Let's just see here. Was it the front or the back? I forgot what it said. I think it was the back, right? And what should be damaged? Where, oh my. There's a lot of damaged stuff in this one. So let's see here. First, rubber things. Damage, 9%. This looks pretty beat up as well from that side. It's damaged. So we found at least, let me see here, at least two parts which are like super damaged. Man, this is quite convenient when it when it's like this, but holy crap, this is a lot of stuff to repair. This seems damaged. This over here seems damaged. 2%, all right, so that is already taken care of. What else? This over here, that is the same thing. No, it's not. This hydraulic brake piston over here. That is okay, though. It looks really beat up and whatnot, but it's not. Damper box axle. It looks pretty beat up. It is. And this piston over here. That is alright. Ho ho. Alright, so let's just do some testing on, like, literally everything just because we can't. No, it's not. But, uh, hmm. This is taken care of. Although this. The caliper. Which I did mispronounce in the previous episode and everybody went on a rampage. I mean, I'm not a train guy, okay? Give me a break. Okay, I've wasted quite a bit of time on this one and I can't find the last piece. There's still one thing. So we have hydraulic brake piston connectors, two brake hoses, rubber springs, axle box, axle box, damper of axle box and something which is not found yet. Found it? It was this little thing over here, the damper of the axle box, just conveniently hidden away. No, not really, but hey, I was blind. It's gonna be a lot of parts to remove, but for the greater good, right? I'm gonna get some cash for it. Axle box, two big screws from underneath. You go away, and you go away. Let's see here, what else? This over here? So that means we need to remove those both pistons. Oh my, this job. It's gonna take like literally forever. How do we even? Let's see here. So we need to remove, first of all, I guess it's this one here. Remove that and then get those screws off. This one over here goes away. And this one over here. That is gone. And now we can safely remove that, just losing up those four screws over here. So that piece is a goner. I've almost disassembled the whole shablang. This goes away, two big screws from underneath. Much convenient. And the final piece of this puzzle is, yeah, the little thing over here, which is hidden away. Not hidden away, but we <laughs> disassemble so much just to get to it. And then this little screw over here, that goes away, this screws here, and those four here. Man, I will never remember this this order of this. There we go. That should be all our pieces. And now comes the hard part. Let's just check the checklist. Hydraulic brake piston connectors, two. Hydraulic brake hoses, one. Steel rubber springs, one. Axle boxes, two. And damper of axle boxes, two. Will we remember this? Mm -mm, no way. Hey, before we do anything, let's just check this. A lot of those parts are in mechanics, right? We have one, two, three, four, five. So the majority is in here. What would happen if we would go here 
and improve our bench. We do have money for two improvements, which might uh, might mean. No, <laughs> we just have money for one improvement. 1300 is the next step. So I guess we could improve one on each, because the rest was hydraulics. So let's get cooking. Can we repair? Chance 100%. So obviously, yes, repair that. Successfully, perfect. This one over here, chance 100%. And that is repaired. Now we have the axle boxes. I'm a little bit afraid of this one because that is 66% only. This one is no biggie though. I guess we could try it, but if it fails, we might lose out on the money. We do have this axle box, which is 66 as well. Cost is 6,664. How much? How much would a new one cost? Uh, mechanical parts. Axle box, 8,000. Hmm, repair or not to repair? Like, it's more expensive to buy one. But then again... Dare to repair on a 66% chance and losing out the money and then still having to buy one? Not my cup of tea. Let's, let's buy them here. Uh, mechanical parts, one and two of those. 16k, order. Yes, please. Thank you. And the rest, we can, I guess we can sell that. For some reason, I can't explain, but this is so relaxing. I don't know why, but it's just, just this. Then we have this one. I replace it for more screws. Sure is a lot of screws in, in this place. Okay, we can't neglect that. Can I just install that from here? And that's just two big screws, right? Perfect, that is replaced. And now put those back into place. Bam, bada beam, bada boom. Is that all? Check, check, check. Okay, hydraulic brake uh, hose, get back. Hoses and select. Is that all? Check, 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 check. And finalize order. <laughs> And there she rolls! Income, let me see here. How much did we waste? How much did we make? Bonus. Bam, bada beam, bada boom. 2k on that job, which means great things, because now we can sell off some of the old crap. Do I even have any parts warehouse? No, no parts to sell though. But that means what we could do is go into the tablet and we can improve stuff. We have 2350. I guess mechanical. It's been a lot of mechanical so far. And if we can improve the success, or, or even allow the faster loosening and tightening of screws and bolts. Let's go mechanical workbench. Perfect, and still have 1050, so the next job is gonna bring us up there. Or we could just use electrical. But we haven't had any electrical, so let's just wait with that for the moment. Next job awaits. I don't know what to choose, like we just had one of those truck repairs, so maybe we should go with this one so we get out, although it's just 500 bucks. Hey, hey, hey. Well, we still need to do them, so let's just do this in progress. And let's head out with our little beautiful train and see what happens. Yes, please. The whereabouts. Find the damaged locomotive on track in square A4 and bring it back to the workshop. So let's just take a peek at our map. A4. It's somewhere where we haven't been before. It's just here. So South Plains, South Plains Branch. And what would be the easiest way to go? Go out here, do the little turnaroo switcheroo job and get into this place. Well, it is what it is. Let's see it up, jump in. And off we go. Not so fast, Batman. We need to keep track of this because we can't miss that switch. Can I switch it now? I guess not yet. Can I switch it now? There we go. So that switcheroo should give us way all the way around. For some reason, everybody, I, I, just, I just don't know. For some reason, this is... Oh, that would be a derail job. <laughs> I'm just looking at the scenery and the graphics and stuff, and this happens. Okay, let's just not go full speed. Let's roleplay this from the inside. I wonder if we can remove some of the UI just to enjoy the scenery more, but... Uh, Not gonna be the guy. Let's see the map. Yeah, that leads us all the way up here. Although, if we screw up this, we need to. Hmm. Yeah, if we screw up this, 
Because it could just be here as well, right? I guess we can just back it up or something. Green lights, perfect. Got it. This looks really beautiful. Oh, look at that. That's an electrical locomotive. Hopefully we... You know what I really look forward to? Because I know there's steam engines in the game, right? So that would be an obvious choice. Oh, an obvious choice for me because uh, steam? Steam locomotives? How cool aren't they? I'm not, a, I'm not not a big train nerd, but I just love steam steam locomotives because they like just just watching all the wheels and the things turn in front of them, whatever they call it in English, I don't know, but it's just something special about it. Technically, this wouldn't be possible, right? Because we are coming front in. I guess it. We could just push it and connect it on the front and have the steel lo steam locomotive in the middle. Not a steam locomotive, the diesel one. Okay, it should be... Oh, it's derailed! And then just drag it onto the track. <laughs> so bad. But it works, I think. That's it. Let me see here. Can we just oh, switch a route? It... Get to the other side. And boom. Crap, we did not succeed on that. How come? It's just perfect. It's in place. It kind of looks perfect to me. Let me see the wheels. I guess we could spin it, but... For some reason, I don't think that is the case, is it? Let me see here. Boop. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, look at that. The height is almost picture perfect. The distance, though, is is not correct. Okay, that way it goes further away. So the only problem we've got is actually the angle. What is the correct angle? That can't be the correct angle. Let's turn it this direction. Uh, okay, that is not a thing. Okay, bring it back in more further and further in. And now spit lift it. Zip. And lift it and spin it. Yes, look at this. It's coming along. Ten. Nine. Oh, get it. Oh, all right. We got the train. And now the easiest way back would be going all the way through here. And the same way as we usually have taken. So just take a, a right turn here. Through village on the lake. Village on the lake. I like the sound of that. Everybody, let's head to it wonder if like it, it is getting a little bit darker so i'm thinking like is there like a night scenarios might be might be slow down batman where's the village on the lake is that it just in case just in case Grand Central. Sure is. Change tracks. Slow down a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if that is legit. They are fairly like sharp turns. <laughs> that car has been standing there since the previous episode. There we go. Go to repair. Let's see what's wrong with this guy. Hopefully it's not the truck, but I guess it is. It's the rail and it's super sad. Okay, find the damage locomotive and the tracks, blah, 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 done it. Find the cause of the effect. Traction motors. Ooh, I see. So where would those be exactly? It's not in the fuel track, that's for sure. It's gotta be traction motors. Have I seen that before? Traction motors... Uh, might be might be those engine mountain traction motors drive gear in let's just let's just do a little bit testing job on this guy not this one not this one so it's not in those game might be underneath but traction motors where would one 
who doesn't know anything about trains find one of those traction motors? It can't be in the engine now, is it? Traction motors? Combustion? Damn, there's a lot of stuff in here. Combustion chambers, look at this, flywheels. Oh, can't wait to get one of those jobs. But it's not here, so I guess it is somewhere around here. And those guys over here, they look pretty beat up. How many parts did we need? Four. So, test this, defect, test this, defect, test this. I'm not looking that good. Is there anything else here on this one? Could I guess test those ones as well? Let's see here. Testing mode. This one is alright. And this one is alright. So what else would it be? Oh, there actually is. A little drive shaft. There we go. There's our four pieces. So we have a drive gear, electric motor, ro uh, rotor, sh rotor shaft, electric motor, motor cover, and engine mountain. So, um, yeah. How do we even start? We need to remove those. There we go. And now the big guy. And I think those over here, they are fairly easy to remove. It's a goner. This one goes out. Before we need to give this off. Then this one. Okay, this one I have never done. Oh, it's super easy. Alright, I see, I see, I see. What is blocking this guy over here though? Is it a little like... Oh yeah, it's gonna be this little like mounting bracket over here to the engine. Hopefully it is. <laughs> this is so relaxing, I can't explain. I can't explain why. I'm sitting here repairing train engines or tracks and whatnot. And it's super relaxing. And there it goes. So there's the pieces we've got. Let me just see here. Uh, pew, 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 pew. All those and then I guess most of them are mechanical. Okay, so those are intact. I'm not gonna touch them. 100% chance. Uh, pretty much yes on that one. There we go. 100% chance on this one. So yes, sorry. Then we have 100% chance. Oh, sorry. Uh, on the electric motor, motor cover. Do that. And the last piece of the puzzle is the drive gear. That is 31%. It costs 28,152. And I'm not gonna repair that. I'm gonna buy a new one. So tablets. Drive gear, drive gear, drive gear. Where are you, drive gear? 46k. Buy it, shopping cart, order. Yes, sir. -y. Thank you so much, good sir. Now, let's get back to it. So, what was first? Um, well, well, bear with me, bear with me. Trying to navigate, getting down here. Alright, so the first is here. Installation mode. We need the electric drive mo motor thingy, cover thingy, de <laughs> thingy, thingy, a lot of thingies. Then we need to put that back into place, which was the, the brackets. Select them. And screw them in. Game changer. Then we have this one. Select. It goes into place like a boss. This drive gear. Bam. This little thing. Bam. And that is in place. There's no screws on that. Then we have this one. This mounting. It's in place. Four screws on this side and four screws on the other side if you haven't noticed that on the screen already but um, it is i'm just telling you okay bam and bam and then we just replace those here bam perfect let's just check this fixed 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 and finish order and there she goes income 500 bucks 250 250 and 500 so thousand in total with the bonuses i take it I take it, which means also I could invest some points here. It's been a lot of mechanical, but 3,500 for the next upgrade. I guess we could go with the wrench, hydraulics, wrench or hydraulics. So let's go with wrench and then hydraulics next, or maybe even electrical just in case. We just don't know. Final job of the day. Job board number six. The locomotive drove over something, laying on the tracks, blah, blah, blah. The wheel set axle requires servicing. I don't think we had an axle job. Have we had an axle job? Not found. So just one axle? This might be, this might be convenient and easy. Which axle are we talking about? Let me see. Okay, I think I straight away found it. Might be this one because it drove over. Or is it this one? Testing mode. 
Yes, sirree. And is that the case? Will Axel. Okay, so how do we how do we even dismantle this? Oh man, there's a lot of stuff to remove just to get this out of the way. I thought this would be easy, but it's not. So first, before we remove the axle box, which is required to remove the wheel axle, we need to dismantle this one over here. Just four screws, nothing to worry about. You go away now, perfect, then the axle box. Which means that should be loose from this side, is it? Yes, uh, I think it is. Next would be this one, the brake caliper. Just one screw. It's gone on this side. And next one is this one over here. Just just eight screws. Nothing to worry about. Can we assemble this later on? Yes, I think we can. This is this, so far. This has been easy mode. That is gone. Now the drive gear needs to go away. So this one is first. Then this one. And now let's see here. So the only thing is this brake caliper on this side. Rup. Screw here, bam, and the final thing is here. So the same goes for the damper axle box. And you go away, and then just the axle box just below. Perfect. Wheel axle. <laughs> All right, so let's just check this out. It's mechanical, and how does this look even? The repair just is 100. Uh, yeah, I totally repaired that and great success and the rest of the parts are fairly decent like we could even we could Just be the, the good guys. I guess we could repair this brake caliper, but uh, no, 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 no So first is first uh, Installation mode wheel axle in Place and let's start with this side. So first is first axle box BAM One screw Two screws, then the this damper. Is it even called damper? I think it is, right? There we go. And the brake caliper thingy. One screw over here. And then we could also, I guess, replace. Let me just bear with me. Bear with me. Drive gear. Select. And the little motor tip shaft goes in here. Uh, brake caliper on this side. Bam, one screw. I'm getting good at... Well, no. Uh, yeah, I am. I'm getting fairly good at this. Axle box. Like, it looks like so many parts, but this is quite um, quite easy. It's gonna get harder, I guess. One, two, three, and four. We kind of forgot about this, uh, the mounting as well. Bam, and that is... Eight screws, and that should be it. Perfect. Checklist. Fixed. And finish order. And there she goes. She's a beauty. Income 2k. Thank you very, very much. Which means, how much cash do we've got? 2,550. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait with spending points on the hydraulics. Uh, never know what's what's up next. Let me see here. What is the next work order? I want to do steam engines. How do we do steam engines? We're a seasonal locomotive that has problem running uphill. It appears the problem is within the main engine. Oh man, an engine job. Four problems for me. Uh, where would one find an engine on this one? There, there we go. Okay, I see the problem straight away. It's the, the valve co cover, right? So let's just go into testing mode and it's gotta be this one. That's at least one problem of the puzzle. And the rest might be some pistons going up here. Hmm, where would one? Okay, there's... Oh, I see it! Can you guys see that the cables here on the fuel hose connector is broken up a little bit? It's gonna be this one. Yes, it is. Fuel hose? Nope, they look intact. So that means, alright, that is broken. What could it be? One might, might wonder. 
Like, this looks really intact. Oh, I guess we could try those fuel hoses. Oh, okay. Okay, so there's two fuel hoses which are broken. And let me just see this fuel hose. Even though it doesn't look beat up, it was. This one, intact. This one on this side is broken. And that means it was the fuel hoses. So three fuel hose connectors and one valve cover. Uh, let's get to it. How do one disassemble this? Well, that was easy. That was pretty easy. And then we have those parts. So this one goes first. Um, disassembly. Let me just go. Uh, this one goes off. This one should go off. And then connector. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. The same goes for the side. Boom. Boom. And boom. And the final one was this one over here. So boom. Boom. And boom. There's our pieces. Bam, bam, bam. And now let's see here. Mechanical or is that electrical? That is mechanical. No, it's well, it one piece was. It was the valve cover. 100% uh, repair chance, I take it. There we go. So that is. And now we just have the fuel hose connectors. 100%, 100%, 100%. Well, not gonna be the guy who argues, but right, that is a fairly good chance. Repaired. And the final thing of the puzzle is this one. Although those could be repaired, but let's not do that. And let's get back into the engine. Bam! So, uh, spin it around, bop it around. Bear with me, it's gonna take a while before I get the hang of this. Uh, let's go into installation mode. This one, bam, in place. This one, bam, in place. This one, bam, in place. Then we have the little fuel hoses. Jing. Jing, jing, jing. And we need four more of those. So one here. And one here. And the final thing is just the cover. Bam! Like a glove. Let's just check, check the checklist. Boom, 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 boom. And we got to finish order. And there she goes. Income. Quite decent, two and a half K. Thank you so much. And uh, I should be saying goodbyes now, but I'm just gonna check the next job. Is it still in this place? It is. When can I do? When can I do steam engines and stuff? Maybe 25 jobs is just in this place. Or maybe we need to move our way into the other steam engine rooms. That might be the case. Maybe we need to travel. And behold, the great oil fields. I can't see any wells. Oh, here they are. Damn, this looks super neat. That is beautiful. Let me just see here. We need to make a turn into the steam engine depot straight after we pass this, uh, this oil field, right? So let's do a little switcheroo job on the tracks, if that is possible. It is not. Okay, let me just see here. It is not possible to switch yet, or maybe we just need to pass this switching point. Let me just see here. Switching point, passed. Now. Switch, 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 switch. I can't switch into that track. And I don't know why. Maybe this is the case. Maybe there's just a few steam engines and we need to get through all those diesel ones before we can actually take a job in that. Let me see. If I pass this... Nope. Look at it! Why can't I do a switch job? Okay, so I took the wrong turn. So I, even though if I go... Oh, around this, I won't be able to make it. So if I go in here, we need to get into that. Maybe we can back it up here somehow? Because there's a green circle, so obviously that means for greatness, and that means steam, right? But I don't think I can back it up. Maybe I can somehow. Let me see, can I do a switch here? Nope. No switch possible. So we can't back it up. And how do one get into that? We need to spin all the way around here and then come that direction with the front in. 
Well, let's give this a go. Whoa, look at this. The mountain pass. Man, this is cool. I love it. Okay, I can switch those, so let's just try this out. Coming in front in. After this crossing, can we switch into the steam engine? Depot. I can't switch. So if I can't do a switch a roo job, that means we need to tackle those, I guess. Okay, look at this. I can't do a switch job here. So that means back to that and get some more diesel ones going. This is not possible. I can't switch to that track. See you later, steam engines. Everybody, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you did enjoy, make sure you smack the like button, leave some nice feedback in the comment section, and subscribe if you haven't. I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of uh, <laughs> Train Mechanic Simulator 2017. It sounds bizarre, but it's so addictive, I don't know why. See you guys, bye bye.